does a hurricane form? Hurricanes are the most awesome, violent storms on Earth. They form near the equator over warm ocean waters. Actually, the term hurricane is used only for the large storms that form over the Atlantic Ocean or Eastern Pacific Ocean. The generic scientific term for these storms, wherever they occur, is tropical cyclone. Other names they are given, depending on where in the world they are born, are typhoons, cyclones, severe tropical cyclones, or severe cyclonic storms. Whatever they are called, the same forces and conditions are at work in forming these giant storms which all can cause damage or devastation when they hit land where people live. Tropical cyclones are like engines that require warm, moist air as fuel. So the first ingredient needed for a tropical cyclone is warm ocean water. That is why tropical cyclones form only in the tropical regions where the ocean is at least 80 degrees Fahrenheit for at least the top 50 meters, about 165 feet below the surface. The second ingredient for a tropical cyclone is wind. In the case of hurricanes that form in the Atlantic Ocean, the wind blowing westward across the Atlantic from Africa provides the necessary ingredient. As the wind passes over the ocean surface, water evaporates, turns into water vapor, and rises. As it rises, the water vapor cools and condenses back into large water droplets, forming large cumulonibus clouds. These clouds are just the beginning. Meteorologists have divided the development of a tropical cyclone into four stages. Tropical disturbance, tropical depression, tropical storm, and full-fledged tropical cyclone. One, tropical disturbance. When the water vapor from the warm ocean condenses to form clouds, it releases its heat to the air. The warmed air rises and is pulled into the column of clouds. Evaporation and condensation continue, building the cloud columns higher and larger. A pattern develops with the wind circulating around a center like water going down a drain. As the moving column of air encounters more clouds, it becomes a cluster of thunderstorm clouds called a tropical disturbance.